Now let's talk about our five minute checklist and how you can start your trading day the right way. Keeping a trading journal has many benefits. Here are a few. Before you even start your trading day, keeping a trading journal and going through your trading journal can help you raise the level of awareness for past issues and it helps you to reflect on previous trading decisions. That's what we're going to cover in this video. During your trading day, a trading journal can help you avoid bad trading behavior, which will lead to negative entries in your trading journal. We already talked about this in the past when we talked about the tilt meter challenge. By always reminding yourself about the tilt meter and how trading decisions will impact your trading behavior, you are more likely to make better trading decisions because you don't want to risk your tilt meter going red. And once you're done with your trading day and you make your weekly or monthly review in your trading journal, a trading journal can help you to work on your strategy refinement and help you improve your processes for the long term. That's what we're going to cover in later parts of this series. So when it comes to our pre-trading checklist, there are four main components that we can review in our Edgewong trading journal and I will show you this in a moment. The idea here is that before you start your trading day, once you've done your chart preparation and are ready to start your trading, you quickly go over your trading journal and you check four important metrics and features. The pre-trade check should be very quick. You don't want to spend too much time on your trading journal before you start your day and it's not even necessary. So let's take a look at those one by one. First, let's take a look at your current streak because being stuck in a losing or a winning streak can easily influence the confidence of the trader. So when you are in your Edgewong trading journal, first of all, you can review your profit calendar to see how have you been performing lately. We can see over the last few trades, we had a winning trade, but there were a couple of losses. We need to address that. Also here on the right side under current streak, you see your last trades. We had one win and then four losses in a row. So currently it looks like we are more stuck in a losing streak. A lot of traders, when they are stuck in a losing streak, will often make bad trading decisions. Maybe they're lacking the confidence, they're trading with fear, or other traders will try to catch up and try to make up the previous losses with higher than usual position sizes. You need to be aware of that when you start your trading day. We can also take a quick look at our equity graph and we can see that currently the losing streak seems to be real. Whereas previously the equity graph hit an all time high, Afterwards, it started a decline. It's very important to be aware of such things because they will influence your trading decisions. So once you start your actual trading and once you are ready to place your trades, don't let the recent results influence your trading because when you look at the whole picture, you can definitely see that the trading strategy has been profitable. So trust the system and make sure that you make good trading decisions. Second, we want to revisit the tilt meter and we want to check if we keep repeating the same mistakes. For that, we can go to the journal and we take a look at our last trades. When we take a look at the column for the tilt meter, we can see that mostly the tilt meter is red. There's one little green tilt meter here, but mostly it's quite red. So let's actually scroll a little bit to the right so we get to our comments. And when we go to the entry comment, we can see that clearly we have been trading a lot with revenge trading. So this seems to be our current issue and we have to be aware of that. We need to break this cycle. And once you realize that previously you have been revenge trading a lot, this will raise the level of your awareness for the upcoming trading session. You know now that you've been revenge trading and it led to bad trading results. If you want to turn your trading around, you have to break the cycle and you have to get back to good trading. Here's a winning trade indicated by the green row and you can see it was the perfect entry. So when the trader is taking good trades and making better trading decisions, it seems like his performance will also benefit from that. By the way, in the equity graph, you can very nicely overlay the tilt meter here on the equity graph. We can zoom in a little bit on that and only look at the last 25 trades. We can see that previously during the rise of the equity graph, when the performance was really great, the tilt meter also increased, which means that there were more positive trade comments assigned and the tilt meter was mostly green. Here at the top, we can see that the tilt meter topped out and then even here on the decline in the losing streak, the tilt meter also started to go down. This is a very common pattern. Bad trading behavior is often followed by bad trading results. The good news on the other hand is that good trading behavior is followed by good trading results and the performance was really good in the past. So the trader has to get back to following the rules because in the past it has proven to be profitable to follow the trading rules. That's a very helpful insight and it can help traders to boost their confidence. 
Next, we can take a look at the missed trades because we want to analyze if we keep missing good trades and why is that the case. In Edgewonk under Advanced Journaling, you can also journal the trades that you have missed. Here we can see the recent missed trades and we can see out of the last five missed trades, four were profitable trades and one would have been a loss. So it seems like the trader is missing a lot of good profitable trading opportunities. There can be many reasons. One very big reason is that the trader is not paying attention. He's maybe busy, he hasn't done the chart work as necessary and he's distracted. That needs to be changed. And this is again a great insight because it shows you that there are trading opportunities that the trader is missing that could have boosted the trading performance and maybe even turned the current losing streak around. So at the core, it seems like the trading strategy is profitable. The trader just has to follow through on the system, get back to making good trading decisions, prepare the charts correctly, and then trade with more attention. And you add missed trades just like you would regular trades. All the input fields are here, and you can add the missed trades here and then journal them. You can even assign custom stats. What we would recommend is to set up one specific custom stat only for missed trades and then track the reasons for why you missed the trade. You can see that here, process, sleep, and couldn't trade are listed here. Process can refer to the trader not being attentive during the trading session, he was distracted, he didn't pay attention. The next one refers to not being able to take trades during the sleep. Of course, when you're not in front of your charts, then you cannot trade. If you notice that you are missing a lot of trades in your sleep, maybe you can start implementing or experimenting with a trading approach that uses pending orders. This has to be done with care, but again, it's a great insight once you can find something like that. Couldn't trade may refer to trades that you weren't able to take because you were at work or you were in the gym or otherwise busy. Those trades do fall into your active waking hours, but for whatever reason, you were not able to take the trade. So having a custom statistic that is dedicated to missed trades can be very helpful and you can tag your trades with the custom stat and then later analyze them. Here we have a separate tab for missed trades analysis and then you get some analytics and stats around your missed trades. And finally, we want to look at our previous notes and we want to reflect on our previous insights. That can be very helpful. And Edgewonk not only has a lot of statistics and metrics ready for you, but Edgewonk also has a lot of qualitative insights and qualitative features. So under diary, you go to sessions and in a session, you can capture your notes. For example, you can add a new session. First, you select a period. So you can review, for example, the current week starting on Monday and going until today. We can see we have three trades, one winner and two losses. You can capture your notes here. You can capture any insights that stand out, something that you want to remember about your trading session. You can rate your trading session and you can also assign a category to your trading session. That can describe the whole theme of the trading session you're about to enter. And here in the overview, you get even more statistics. You have your trades, the winners, the losses, break-even trades, your win rate, the total gain that falls into the period that you have defined for your session, the gain, the gain in percentage, are multiple, and even you can see the tilt meter here. And at the beginning of your trading day, it's always helpful to review your last session. If you get into the habit of creating sessions regularly, for example, at the end of the trading day or at the end of a trading week, this will over time give you a very nice diary that you can check back in the future to see what you have learned, things that you want to remember and things that you noted down because they stand out. And that's it. The pre-trading check doesn't take long. It shouldn't take long because the goal is to raise the level of awareness for things that are currently happening in your trading, things that stand out and also important issues that are currently taking place in your trading so that you can correct your trading behavior and then once you get to your charts and are ready to trade, you make better trading decisions.